that used to be a simple thing. It delivered world-class performance on a budget, but a look at the rest of the car explained the low price. It's different with the 7th generation Corvette. Now you wonder how Chevrolet was able to cram so much car in such an inexpensive package. Our manual Stingray, for example, is a base model equipped with the Z51 performance package and little else. It cost $64,880, BMW M4 money. For that you get an M4 matching 12.1 second at 117.8 mile per hour quarter mile pass, and an M4 besting, by a lot, 1.05 average G of lateral acceleration and 23.5 second figure 8 lap. The rest of the car. Well, the interior is nicely appointed and well equipped. Our first lieutenant trim has comfortable and supportive leather seats in red, to match the $595 red brake calipers. The seats face a smartly laid out dash and partly digital instrument cluster. Dig into the 8-inch infotainment system and you'll find a backup camera, satellite radio, smartphone connectivity, LTE Wi-Fi, and so on. Hit a button and the screen tucks away, revealing a clever cubbyhole and USB port behind it. Its main resident is my iPod. The must-have Z51 package, $5,000, adds an electronically controlled limited slip differential, dry sump oiling, stronger brakes, a comprehensive suspension upgrade, variable exhaust, and coolers for the diff and transmission. Even better, Chevrolet offers a three-page sheet describing how to prepare the Corvette for track use, covering brake burnishing procedure, alignment settings, fluid checks, and so on. The variable exhaust system gives a small power bump, upping output of the 6.2-liter small block to 460 horsepower and 465 pounds to foot of torque. Yes, it's still a push rod motor, but it has variable valve timing, direct injection, and cylinder deactivation. Plus, valve drain simplicity results in a lower engine and hood, improving visibility and dropping the car's center of gravity. The driving experience? Great in all disciplines. The Corvette is happy to challenge its sticky Michelins at our test track and then cruise home on the freeway in 7th, switching to V4 mode to save fuel. Thus far, the Corvette still delivers perhaps the best bang for the buck in the market, but that bang now encompasses so much more.